Big deal. Just answer my question. <sighs> okay, look, I run a tabloid here. The Sun is a tabloid. Todd, I know that. And it is my job to get people's attention. The more, the merrier. And, and so to do that, I appeal to the lowest common denominator. Hell, I, I got people read my newspaper blurb. They don't even know how to read. I mean, if you think about it, Gabrielle's gonna fit right in. Yeah, that's what I'm asking you. When did you think about it? Well, th the thing is that Gabrielle's thinking is so trashy that she's gonna fit right in. Just answer my question. Answer me. Why did you hire her? You can't even stand her. Well, that's the beauty and part. And why she's always suddenly acting like she's the boss around here? What's going on? Nothing. Todd, I am your wife. We have a family. We have everything, but not if you lie to me. <sighs> okay. The, the truth, Blair, is that I gave Gabrielle a job because she's blackmailing me. Gabrielle is blackmailing you? <sighs> yeah. Why? Well, to get a job. Why else would I hire her? I hate her guts. Well, what is she blackmailing you with, Todd? Todd! Gabrielle knows the truth about our kid. She knows all about Jack. What, Gabrielle knows the truth about how you got how, our baby? Gabrielle knows that I bought the baby from Nellie. But I thought only David Vickers knew that. Yeah, well, that's what I thought, too. But David was trying to blackmail you until you told me the truth, and he didn't have anything to put over your head, so he left town. Well, let's just say he got what he deserved. I didn't think anybody could hurt us anymore, Todd. Yeah, well, that's what I thought, too. Man, why is this happening to us? Well, because Gabrielle Medina can't keep her big yap shut. Todd, I already know the truth. So how could Gabrielle be blackmailing you, hmm? Well, because, uh... And why have you suddenly given her a job here? Well, because she needed a job. Todd, there's something else that you're not telling me. What is it? Okay. What else are you not telling You're right, me? Blair, there is something that I'm not telling you. Okay. So what aren't you telling me? It's about Jack. All right, what about Jack? Well, okay, you remember when I told you that I wasn't going to let anybody take the baby away from you? Oh, Nellie. She, she wants her baby back. No, 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 that's not it at all. It's just that, you know, well, it turns out that, that, that buying a baby is <laughs> it's against the law. And, well, Gabrielle knows about it, and she's threatened to go talk to the cops about it. The cops? The, like they're going to really believe her? She's an ex-con. No, no, you don't need to worry about it, because I'm not even going to let that happen. Well, what if you can't stop her? But I gave her what she wanted to give her What job. if that isn't enough? No, that's going to be enough. How do you know I me? Mean, she, she wants to take our baby, Todd, our little boy. She won't. I couldn't, I couldn't deal with that. What? Not after losing our own son. I, I love him so much. Yeah, fine, me too. Okay. Okay, so we both agree that we will do whatever it takes to shut her up. Get rid of Gabrielle more than me. We would be doing the world a favor. So why don't we? Nah, I guess I'm gonna have to go wait for a while. And then who would who would look after Jack and Star? I mean, we can't we can't put them at Vicky's house because she's already wait got extra you, kids. She doesn't even know running around. You think around. that I want to really like hurt her so I have to go to prison? I wouldn't do that. I couldn't do that. <laughs> don't say that to Max. Oh well, you know, I mean, he, he was asking for it. He, he was practically begging for it. Todd, what are we gonna do? We're gonna do. We're gonna give her what she wanted. We're gonna give her a job. A job? You mean? Oh, come on! If we work here with her. We have to see her every day. Nah, I'll give her some crappy assignments. Maybe the sewage treatment plant. I didn't think of that. 
<laughs> you know, I'm going to make her feel so stupid for having threatened me, she will be begging me for forgiveness. Ooh, I'm going to love that. Besides, she's going to screw up sooner or later, and then she's going to she's gonna blow her own credibility, and then it doesn't matter whether she goes to talk to the cops or not, because they're not going to believe a word she says. Well, you know what? Bo probably wouldn't even believe her now. Yeah, yeah, but we, we don't really want to take that chance. You know what? I could go to Sam. I'll take him the adoption papers. No, 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 no. You don't want to do that. Why not? Because if you go to Sam and you tell him that we bought a baby, he's going to be disappointed in me, and then he's going to want to give me a speech. And besides, what if he tells somebody? Well, he won't. He can't. It's that lawyer-client confidentiality. Yeah, there's too many people already know. There's Vickers, there's Gabrielle. Wait, wait, wait. You know what? You never told me how Gabrielle even found out. From Vickers. But he told her? Look, it doesn't matter. If, really, the only important thing here is that we keep Jack with us and keep him safe. Okay. So what do you want me to do? You're fired. What? No, really. I mean, you don't want to come here every day anyway. I have to see Gabrielle's face every day. Well, I want to come here every day because I want to spend time with you. And I am not afraid of Gabrielle, whatever her name is. Are you sure about that? Blackmail. I should have known. You know what, Gabrielle? Todd told me everything. I know that you're blackmailing him about our son. So you know that Jack is the baby that, that we bought. And she knows that you threatened to take that kind of information to the cops. Oh. Yes. Yes, of course. Of course you would have told her the truth because the two of you don't have any secrets. No, we don't. Such a sweet family, a mom, a dad, a little girl, and a baby boy. It's almost perfect. It is perfect. I have a family, too. My son. That's who I'm doing this for. Would you have to blackmail my husband? I'm glad you understand. And I'm sure you will also understand that I need you to leave my office now. What? Your husband and I have some business to discuss. home to my mansion to my two beautiful children who we love very very much it's probably a pretty good idea yeah i have to spend the rest of my day with a woman whose son can't even stand to be in the same room with her that's rubbish my son loves me very much <laughs> you don't even have a son gabrielle not really you just have a secret on someone else's son mine but it's enough isn't it Someday you are going to be so sorry you ever came after me or my family. I'll see you at home, Todd. I think you made the right decision not telling Blair the truth. I think if you had told her that you'd lied about the baby, well, as a woman and a mother, I don't think she would understand, and I certainly don't think she'd forgive you. You got what you wanted. You got your stupid job. I'll stay off of my back. Oh, Todd, I have only just begun to get what I want from you. <laughs> Colin forced Lindsay to confess. Watch what happens coming up next on One Life to Live. Honest. Gabrielle is blackmailing you? Why else would I hire her? I hate her guts. Eccentric. We brought a gift for the baby. KG. No one would want to get rid of Gabrielle more than me. So why don't we? There's more to Todd's story. One Life to Live. ABC Daytime. Don't underestimate Manning. Hey, Kevin, how you doing? Hey, Brian, how are you? Hey, the meeting's at one, right? Uh-huh. See you there. Slim Fast Meal on the Go Bars. Nutritional meal options to help you manage your weight. It's your life. Feed it right. Honest. Gabrielle is blackmailing you? Why else would I hire her? I hate her guts. Eccentric. We brought a gift for the baby. KG. No one would want to get rid of Gabrielle more than me. So why don't we? There's more to Todd's story. One Life to Live. ABC Daytime. Don't underestimate Manning. Okay, one more step. All right, stop. Okay. Wait, don't open yet. Open your eyes! What is this? Hearts! Happy Valentine's Day! <laughs> mm. 
<laughs> what? Hey, hey, Todd, I'm so glad you're there. Oh, what do you want? Hey, Dad. 